a long, long time ago in a far, far away place called Blackistan. There were wars, and these conflicts were called the Blackistan Wars. And throughout these wars, there arose a man of royal lineage, and his name was Benjamin D'Souza. He brought forth a sword, a sword that will shine light in darkness, free the captive minds, and bring truth and justice. His eyes glimmered like ember. His skin was like fine burnished steel. And as he walked behind him, he left a glistening wake. This is the story of Benjamin D'Souza, the prince and the warlord. It's Benjamin D'Souza here, back with another classic. And I just wanna make a quick video. I got video, I got a motivation to make this video because of a, a video that O'Shea Duke Jackson just put out just recently. Uh, he's talking about brothers going down to Brazil and sisters going down there exposing that they're going down to Brazil to trick. You know, he, he made a comment about this other video that he referenced where this actual Brazilian woman was saying that Brazilian women fake submission just to get money and just to get whatever. Okay, real quick. There's a term in the army called fake motivation. They call it FM. They say you have actual motivation, which is AM, and fake motivation, which is FM. They say if you don't have your AM, if your AM isn't up, it's better to turn your FM up. They would rather, you know, if you're in formation and you, you need to sound off of uh, whatever credo your company has and it's time for you to sound off, whether it's the soldier's creed or your 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 brigade's creed or your company's creed or whatever it is, if you don't have your AM, you need to turn your FM up, you know. You know, because these sisters have no problem uh, turning their FM up when they go to their job, you know. They get all up in Karen's face, jeffing with her and smiling and skinning and grinning and fucking cold switching and shit. And then when, when Mr. Charlie, when the boss man come around, oh, the old eight FM is all the way up, you know? So they have no problem. These sisters here have no problem getting their FM on at, at their workplace, you know? And furthermore, they're talking about we're getting fake submission down in Brazil as it pertains to how I see it, and I'm going to make another video pertaining to this, and I'm going to go more in depth with it, but um, the average sister here, submission isn't even on the table. Not only is submission not on the table, they have, the average sister has, I would say, contempt for the average brother. So we're not even at the submission piece. We're still, grip, we're, we're still grappling with can we get a modicum of basic respect? So I don't I don't even think what I don't even see what the what the conversation is. I don't even see, you know, what are we even discussing here? You know what I mean? You you missed a step. So, you know, if a brother chooses to go across yonder to get a woman and she's giving him fake submission. I got no problem with that. It's better that brother go to Brazil and get fake submission or go to Africa and get fake submission or the DR or Southeast Asia or wherever he chooses to go to get his fake submission. It's better to get that than to deal with someone here who has content for you and who's not going to even give you fake submission, but in turn is going to give you their ass to kiss. You know, I'd rather deal with the Brazilian who's giving me fake submission and to get with some city girls listening, Meg the Stallion listening, uh, Cardi B listening, weave patting, neck rolling, attitude having, 
the heifer here, you know? So, and that's on that, man. That's all I got to get up on that.